Hello, and welcome to Sims 3 Everything is Random Challenge. I haven't played Sims 3 many times. Uh, I have played it a few times, but there are certainly a lot of things that I have never done in this game. And I wanted you to know that I have... I'm actually playing from physical discs. And I have... I bought them all second hand. And uh, I still don't have University Life. That is the only game pack that I don't have. I also don't have some of the stuff packs, but uh, they don't really affect gameplay, so they don't matter as much. But yeah, no going to university in this playthrough. So, this is the random challenge, and I will be using a random number generator to choose basically all that is reasonable to choose with a random number generator. I plan to play this challenge until this first random sim either gets their lifetime wish or they die. And well, um, that is exactly how my random challenge, my first random challenge in the Sims 2 game ended. It didn't last very long. I hope that this one I hope that this one will last longer. So anyway, I think that we should just get into it. And I will I will start playing with the first random sim that the game generates for me. Uh, I already chose the world with a random number generator and I got Twinbrook. I have not played in this world before, or this neighborhood before. So, uh, let's see. So, okay, this is the sim that the uh, game randomly chose for me, or generated for me, and, uh, okay, looks pretty cool. I'm not going to change uh, anything about her appearance, but we are going to choose randomly her name, and the game gave us January part. Okay, let's see what her other clothes look like. This is her everyday outfit. So let's see what the formal one is. Okay, no, finally. Oh, nice! Very nice. And then sleepwear. Mm, sexy. Sportswear. Oh, athletic wear. Oh, very cute. Very cute. Swimwear. Oh, very mm, interesting. I'd like. <laughs> I'd like to have a swimwear like that if I had the body to wear a bikini, <laughs> which I don't. Oh, I'm the outerwear. Oh, interesting gloves. Mm. Okay, so this is the thing that we'll be starting this random challenge with. Now I need to also randomly choose the personality traits. Luckily we have this randomizer in Sims 3 for this. So I can just do that. Brooding Sims often can't help themselves from contemplating the riddles, mystery and meaning of life. Sometimes the weight of these incredibly deep thoughts can become a distraction and can actually slow down a creative process slightly.
dramatic. Everyday situations in life deeply stir the imagination, emotions, and reactions of dramatic sims. Loves to swim. These sims are like fish in the sea and gain a special joy being in the water. And she is a natural-born performer. Natural Natural born performer sims are most comfortable on a stage and never happier than when they are in front of an audience. She is also a savvy sculptor. Savvy sculptors know the ins and outs of sculpting masterpieces. These sims never fail at making the best sculptures around. Then, for the lifetime wish. For this, I will use the random number generator. It seems that there are quite a few lifetime wishes in The Sims 3, if you have all the packs. And we got the jockey. Oh no! I have never played with horses before. I have no idea what to do with them. I guess we'll find out. This probably won't be an easy one for me though, so bear with me. Wow, it's okay. Okay then. <coughs> okay, the Chucky. Reach level 10 of riding skill. Win earn 40,000 simoleons using your horses. Lightweight and agile, the Chucky is the driving force when it comes to horseback riding. To reach actual jockey status, one must dedicate one's life to serving and being one with their horse and their various trainers. The path to becoming a full-fledged jockey is not an easy task and requires intense training, competing in rigorous competitions, and the will to win. Nice. Doesn't seem daunting at all. By the way, if you're wondering why the text on the screen looks a little wonky, it's because I'm recording this in a windowed mode. I learned that if we record The Sims 3 in full screen mode, the result is very dark. And unfortunately, windowed mode affects the text a bit, but we will just have to live with it, at least for now. It doesn't bother me too much. I can read the text just fine. I hope it won't bother you either. And then her favorites. Favorite food, sushi. Then we have nothing in common. Sushi is not one of my favorites. Favorite music, Electronica. Nice. And favorite color is red. She is a Gemini. Okay. Well, that's it. So now we have to choose the house in which we're going to live in. I will choose this also with the random number generator. It seems that we only have three houses which we can choose from. So we can get them furnished with the starting funds. And the random number generator chose Swampy. Okay. 
sounds promising. Let's see what the swampy looks like. I actually don't even know what I want to do with this. I'll just choose no for now. Tell me if that was a bad choice. Okay, so... It looks like a swamp. So, a fitting name, I think. Yep, uh, it's a swamp. It's definitely a swamp. <laughs> oh no. Well, we are starting humbly. Well, the house is certainly something, isn't it? Hmm. Dead tree in the yard? Let me check. Mm -hmm. Some kind of also equally dead looking vegetation. And the bathroom looks moldy. I know it's not, it's just the <laughs> it's just the pattern, but wow. Okay, well our little humble house to begin with. contemplates the meaning of meaning. Sure. Okay, so everything like, just looks moldy. Wow. Alright, yes. The portal from into the future. And it just materialized right on the path. Uh, okay, well, that's certainly interesting. Literally, literally right on top of the path to the house. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, anyway. The first thing we must do is to find a job so we can get more money because we are quite broke after getting this house. We really need more money. So let's see. Also, my idea is to get the first job that the, well, the game offers us. So let's see what it is. Retired? Are you kidding me? How can this even be an option? We haven't had a, had a job yet, uh, so I can just be retired. I guess if if we were an elderly sim, sure. But what? Is there even any money in this? I I don't think so. I thought that the retirement system in The Sims like works that uh, that you get retired, you get some money, but it's based on the salary you had. So I wouldn't even know how that works. You know what? On contrary to what I just said, we are not going to choose retired because I I don't even know if that would work. We are going to choose the next one.
Oh. It seems that we will be paper girl. That works. That's a job. That pays. Sure. That's fine. And we do have a basement. That's interesting. I've never had a basement in the Sims game before. Can you already tell that I haven't played that much? <laughs> and this basement is creepy as hell. What? It has like... Just two dirty washing machines and a sink. We need to do something about that. That, that is... That shit is creepy. And here is the equestrian center. I think that uh, this is where we need to be if we want to learn to become a jockey. Makes sense, right? If you're a prospective horse owner, a verified horse breeder, or an expert rider looking to earn some gold hard simoleons, the equestrian center is where you want to be. Looking to jump into the world of horse ownership? Check out the horses for sale. Each one comes with a unique look and special traits. If you don't see one to your liking, then check back soon. They get new horses all the time. The better the horse, the more you'll have to pay. Of course, this can work to your advantage as well. If you've got a top-notch horse to offer, you can make big bucks selling it here. So now you have a horse and you're wondering what to do with it. How about, some com how about some competitions? Start off by attending a riding class to learn all about the riding skill. As you advance and your horse trains their jumping and racing skills, more competitions will open up at the equestrian center. These competitions are a great way to see just how well horse and rider have bonded, as well as making a little money on the side. Alternatively, just come watch a competition with friends and family for a fun social outing. Keep your eye on the prize. Winning competitions is all about setting the right pace to gallop your way to victory, fame and fortunes. A spot on the podium means you'll go home with a beautiful trophy to proudly, to proudly display, and if you check the local newspaper, you may just find yourself on the front page. Your horse had a good run, but it's getting a little long in the tooth. That's understandable. Competitive careers can, can't last forever. However, you can ensure future success by breeding a world-class line of equines. If you own a stallion, trainers from far and wide will pay you handsomely to have a chance at using him as a stud. Alternatively, mares can select from prospective partners with, uh, partners with ideal traits to breed a strong bloodline. So, let's check what we have to do to get a horse. Alright, how does this work? I mean, the last time I played, my sim had a bike. She doesn't have a bike. Oh, of course, there are taxis. Well, I sure hope that the taxi ride won't cost anything because we only have 33 simoleons. We are broke. I don't think it will cost anything because, well, <laughs> I don't think we could have the taxi ride if it did cost something, but hopefully not. So, let's see. Let's see what kind of horses they have. We have Trailblazer and Asifa. These horses are a bit too expensive for us right now because we only have those 33 simoleons. <laughs> 
We need to earn some more money. Oh, look, here's the community center pool. Let's go there because, well, January loves to swim. Okay. Here we are swimming. And she seems to be happy about it. Okay, time to go home and eat. Ah, huh. um, don't cut your finger now. Oh yes, and yes, and I am from Finland. Uh, well, it was probably very obvious that I am not a native English speaker. If people are watching this, let me know in the comments where you are from. That was the first day of the Sims 3 Everything is Random challenge. Uh, we didn't get, I didn't get to use the random generator that much. Only when I chose the world and the house. Hopefully we'll get to use it more next time. And hope also hopefully, and hopefully we'll get to play more in-game days.
than just one. Janiora needs to earn more money in order to get a horse, and I think we should get the horse as soon as possible. She needs a lot of training, because she needs a lot of training to actually become a jockey. I need to get rid of these notifications in the top right corner. I don't know these people. I actually don't know anyone in the game yet. I'm going to have to change them so that it shows only uh, these notifications from family, friends and enemies. You know, people we know instead of totally random people. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!